So far we've opened documents inside of Adobe Photoshop, which would be the normal and obvious route to go down. However, there is an alternate way. If we go to file and then head down to browsing bridge, we can open up a separate application. If you don't have Adobe Bridge installed, you can see here that uh, I of course have it installed, then you can go to your Creative Cloud desktop app and then under all apps, you'll be able to browse down the list of installed apps and then lower down uh, items that are available in your plan. A bridge would appear as one of those applications and you would click on install. It would download and install it for you. Bridge opens up on screen and you'll see here that I have Something similar to the panels inside of Photoshop, we have these tab headings with the categories in, and it's actually taken me to a location on my hard drive. It's actually my login under my name, and it's given me all my content, such as my Creative Cloud folders, others like Dropbox. However, if I go over to the Favorites tab, in here, there is by default a link to the desktop. If I left click on there, then of course, where we've been using our files from, and on my machine, the desktop, we see the folder there. I can hover over in this central part of Bridge, which is the content area, and I can interact with those folders just like any other file browser. So with a double left click, I can delve into the subfolders. And as we've already seen in the info folder, we have our files and we get an instant preview of those documents. Now they might look a little bit small, so you can head down right to the center of Bridge at the bottom and we have a slider to make them larger and smaller. So I can drag that to the right hand side to make them bigger. Or you can conversely tap on the left hand side button to make them smaller or click on the plus to make them larger. Just to the right hand side of the thumbnail slider, we have ways in which we can change the preview of those thumbnails. By clicking on the grid option, we now have a black line grid, which differentiates where each of these thumbnails start and finish. And to remove the grid lines, simply click on the thumbnail button and it takes us back to the previous view. If you want to see further information about each of those files, we can change this to details view. So we have the thumbnail on the left hand side and then additional information such as the date created, modified, file size and file type. And finally, we have the list view. So very small thumbnail, um, but we have the information now shown in columns of data. If I head back to the thumbnail view, I can also hover over an image, left click on it once and you can press the space bar and that will take you into a full screen view. So rather than having to open up a document inside of Photoshop and wait for that process, it's pretty much instantaneous inside of Bridge. And if I wish to view the other files in the folder, well, you can use the cursor keys on the keyboard. I can tap the right cursor key, takes me to the next image in the folder, or I can tap the left cursor key and it takes me back to the previous image. So you can very quickly cycle through the images and see which one perhaps you want to work up inside of Photoshop without the hassle of having to open up all of them. If you want to exit this full screen view, press the space bar and it takes you back to the same folder and it highlights the file you were last viewing in full screen mode. So if you're looking for a quick, effective way to analyze your images without the hassle of opening them in Photoshop, Bridge is a good route worth thinking about.